Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 105. I'm Nate Moore. Today what I want to do is show you uh, a different type of example. We've worked through a whole bunch of financial examples and I think you know more and more what's going to be important is to be able to use some of these applications and dashboards and charts and things with clinical data. So what I have here is uh, a list of oh, 25 uh, patients with random numbers. Um, where I'm comparing their body mass index to stock blood pressure. And what I want to know is, is there some kind of correlation? And uh, can I, you know, help control uh, blood pressure with, uh, by controlling BMI or something like that? Let's assume that my EMR tracks that kind of data and I want to analyze it. So I've got 25 patients. I pulled them out and I plotted them here on this chart. Um, let me just show you what kind of chart I used. Uh, it's called an XY scatter chart, and there's a couple of them here that'll collect the lines and connect the lines and, and stuff. But I just did this scatter with markers to get this chart. So I'm plotting um, BMI down here and my blood pressure up here. So what I can do is I can go like we have in the past and go to layout and analysis and trend line. And let's go to more trend line options and say, well, we want to do a linear trend line because our, the relationship appears to be a straight line. I'm not going to worry too much about the name and stuff like that. What I want to show you is these two buttons down here. I can display an equation and the R squared value on the chart. Remember the equation is going to be, let's see if we can drag it someplace where you can maybe see it, the Y equals MX plus B thing. So what, uh, what we're saying is if you know the BMI, then what you can do is you can take 6.0383 times the BMI, add 10.896, and estimate what systolic blood pressure is going to be. And what the R squared number says is, remember that's on a scale from one to negative one, one being perfect correlation, negative one being a perfect opposite correlation. When one goes up, the other goes down by the same percentage. So um, my random data is 0.65 is, reason, is a reasonable approximation. And you can see the line in between this one's right on the line, these are right on the line, this one's close, this one's far away, this one's far away, but it gives you a feel for how well the uh, this trend line here and our equation describes the data. So that's what I wanted to show you today. First, uh, we don't have to use financial data. More and more I think clinical data is going to be an important thing we're going to want to study and report on in charts. Number two, we can do a XY scatter type chart for this kind of data and I think that's appropriate for the kind of data we're looking for. Third thing I wanted to show you is from the trend line you can plot not just the line but you can put the equation and the R squared value right on the chart so as physicians look at this they can say how accurate is our, or is our trend line and how close are we in describing it. I hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned next time I got another uh, trend line kind of example from this error bars area. We'll cover that next. Thanks for watching.